So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. So join our adventure here in Springfield, Missouri. Wonders of Wildlife Aquarium. And it was wonderful, wasn't it? I really, really enjoyed it. If you've never had the opportunity to go, I would recommend going. It's, it's worth every bit of it. It was, it was a lot of fun. It's just amazing, the, the fish and just the wildlife inside this museum. Like Mr. Brown said, if you ever get the chance, go to Springfield, Missouri. Stop by Bass Pro and go into the Wonders of Wildlife Aquarium. You can spend four hours in there and- Easily, easily. easily. You can spend all day if you wanted to. The ticket's good for all day. Let me walk in and you see this beautiful, huge fireplace. Now this is in Bass Pro Shop. There's that huge- Deer. Elk, is it elk or deer? It's a deer. And of course there's always water. Everywhere you go, there's a waterfall, water. The beautiful deer and wildlife are just awesome. What is that? Alligator gar. Alligator gar. And this is? Alligator gar. That's what all them biggins are. His name is uh, the guy that started. Johnny Bass Morse. Johnny Morse. And this is in his younger days with his family. And that's his dad. That's his dad and Johnny Morse. His dad and mama. And this is when he first got started, isn't it? Yep. He first started Bass Pro Shop. He started selling tackle out of his... Uh, dad's liquor store. That's how he started. There's a picture of Bill Dance. And there's Mr. Brown in, <laughs> in the old store. They had a replica of his old... Uh, there's Jimmy Houston. That's some of the older bait and tackle. And I guess, was it called Brown Derby or something? Maybe. There's Ethel. There's Ethel. She was a world famous bass, over 16 pounds. And there's Uncle Buck. He lived to be what, 85? Yep. Early 1900s to 84, I believe. And it was really heartwarming to see all the, the veterans and all of our military that they had so many pictures up there at Bass Pro. So they salute you and we salute you too. It was a real nice for them to do that. This is just some of the scenery that's... That's in Bass Pro Shop. That's in the shop itself. That's huge waterfall. There's Hemingway's restaurant. We ate in there a couple of times. And it was really good. And all the waterfall just try to stay away. Oh, it's so relaxing though, wasn't it? You could just... They had benches sit around where you could just see it and just look and listen to the water and of course there's fish everywhere fish and game mounts everywhere just it's all beautiful this is we've been to bass pro shop a few times and this time we really got to enjoy we got to have time to do and really really look around what kind of fish is that uh, it's hard to tell because the water was really moving in this one, so. That was, I think, a big alligator guard down in there. But the water's so clear, 
and just it's just so nice in there. There's some bass in there. It's just such a relaxing atmosphere and so much to look at and do and shop for. This is a elevator. A elevator takes you down to the camping area if you or takes you up to Hemingway uh, Restaurant or up to the restaurant. It's like an elevator and a huge tree aside of a mountain or something, ain't it? Yeah. Bunch of rocks everywhere. It's just a really nice. And we stayed at the Angler's Lodge, which is across from Bass Pro. So if you ever come, there's plenty of places to stay. This was the duck pond. Got bears around the duck pond, do Yeah. So that's still around the elevator, but look, there's another waterfall. It's just everywhere. That's why it's so relaxing. This is the duck pond, because that's the water wheel. And we was walking up to the restaurant when I took that video. It's a big horn sheet. That is a statue of uh, praying Indian. Praying Indian. In the forest. There's Mr. Brown in the restaurant. He ate a bison burger and he said it was wonderful. And I ate uh, fish and chips. It was codfish and it was really good. It was a snake, wasn't it? <laughs> was it a snake? I don't, there's buffalo. Big buffalo. That's neat how they got replicas and stuff like that. And here is one of the... Mainly crappie. And most of them, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they all were black crappie. Now this was not in the museum. This is in the Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, itself. we haven't made it to the museum yet. No. This is just in the Bass Pro Shop. There's been a lot of people I'm sure have been there, but I know there's a, probably a lot that haven't got to. And there's a diver in there, and I seen him, and I th or it might be a her, I don't know, but I don't know if he was cleaning. He was. Clean he or she. Yeah, was cleaning the aquarium. Scrubbing and cleaning. I wanted him to turn around and wave, but he was too busy cleaning. But yeah, that's just down in the shops. And that's there's, scary. There's a big wolf and a big Look, brown he's bear. sniffing my hair. More of that sleeping water. <laughs> More of that waterfall. There's the little turtles. Them turtles would come up to you like you was well, there's a the little bitty alligator. Giving them something to eat. This is going down into the fishing area where all the boats are and all your There's the big alligator. All your tackle. That's Mr. Brown's favorite place in the Bass Pro is. Well, I don't know if my favorite, but. <laughs> His, the boats and tackle. I spent some money down there. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> the alligators, I guess they were just kind of chilling out there. Yeah, that rock, he's on, that other one's on that rock there. It's heated rock. That's why he's laying up there. And there's another one way back there behind that big one, if you can see him down in the water. That one there is pretty good size. There's Mr. Brown. He's fixing to go shopping. That's my best side, the back side. <laughs> There's another bear. Now this is an alligator gar. The world record at one time came out of Texas. In the, I believe it was the Rio Grande River. It was 279 pounds on tackle, caught on tackle. Oh my goodness. And since then, Look at low water. Since then, they've come up with an over 300 pounder in Mississippi, but I don't know that it held as a line and tackle record, but there have been alligator guard taken over 300 pounds. So they go up for air like a well does? No. Oh. <laughs> when sure. I seen it do that, I thought, why is it doing that? He might have gotten a little different there, and there's a long nose gar there to the left. I don't know what this one here weighs, but I can get up to over 300 pounds. Here's just another relaxing shot there. Everybody wake up. I told Mr. Brown I wanted I wanted a big old waterfall in my bedroom. And a fish aquarium. And a fish aquarium. This is when you first come into Bass Pro with some big elk. They were fighting. There's that turtle pond. Them turtles would, would swim over to you like you were going to give them something to eat. 
They're usually somebody coming out and feeding them at a certain time. We look, we've got grandkids that love turtles. They're pretty cute when they're swimming. Now this is when you're going up into the museum. And that big herd of buffalo. This is uh, some Indian outfits. And There's Geronimo. All the Indian stuff was just beautiful. They had all this that we're showing you does no justice to the whole museum, I, I'm telling you. But we could only show so much because we were so busy looking. And this is a buffalo hide? Yeah, that's a buffalo hide. Okay, but... this is the inside of it. And I was just amazed at the stitchery and stuff on the inside of this real buffalo hide. It was just amazing. Beautiful fireplace, the buffalo head. And these three statues, I just thought were really beautiful. I just wanted y'all to see them. There's just so much to take in and so much to look at. You could spend easily three and a half, four hours in here. We did. We did. There was a bear chasing some wolves. There's a that looks real, didn't it? Cougar. There's a big moose. We get down there close to him. Mm -hmm. Mountain goats. I think that was that a bear. I don't remember what that was. There's Mr. Brown with a cougar about to pounce him. We're going down. Some javelina. Javelina. Them are ugly. <laughs> I've ate javelina. You have? Yep. What it tastes like? It tastes like javelina. Mm. It's barbecued. <coughs> if you barbecue something enough, you won't taste it. Now, see, that's a coyote. Was that a wolf or a coyote? What that's is a coyote. And it's chasing a big old rabbit. Yeah, it's a coyote. To the, to the left, you'll see a big old... There's a rabbit right over there. Yeah. There. And there's another one in the back chasing him. I believe that was Desert Bighorn there. Or Desert Sheep. Wouldn't be Bighorn, I don't think they call them, but I ain't sure about that one. Antelope. A lot of people all over the country are going to be familiar with a lot of these. I know. Hey, y'all, listen, some of these places in this museum got really dark, so the pictures aren't the best. In fact, I had to get rid of several because you just couldn't see nothing. But you're not allowed to use a flash inside the museum, so. But it don't matter because it is well worth it. What are those? Antelope. Ooh. There's your favorite. That rattlesnake Ooh, was, a, snow. I'd say he was over five feet long. It's real, too. It just makes that my... That picture don't even... He's big. <laughs> that picture don't even do him no. justice. There's some little babies. There's some lion. There's a pretty picture of an elk. Woo. Black, black bear. Black bears. And there's a great Kodiak. Grizzly. That might have been a... Co that's yeah. brown bear, yeah. Brown bear, Kodiak. Moose are huge. That's a Yukon. Moose. He was shedding, right? Yeah, caribou. This was a Canadian outfitter. Like groundhog sticking his head out of a so hole. So cute. Now this is real horns. That's deer hard. horn, buck horns. I mean, that was huge. That and room had huge, huge stuff in it. Isn't that beautiful? Had the most deer I've ever seen in my life. Now y'all, this was my favorite part right yeah. here. And that was the penguins. I had one one time. And, and I wanted to take them home with me. just standing on the top of there. I told the lady that was in there, I said, you have the best job of everybody. Because all she had to do was just stay right in there with the penguins. You got the best job. As people come through. And just watch them all day long. I could just be out here all day with them. There's just something about penguins that just make me smile. And she was a volunteer. Yeah. And she said they were about 300 <laughs> yeah, volunteers short. Time. Now, to the left, you'll, this is a male and a female. <laughs> it's so funny because... Uh, kind of their mating ritual. Their, it was their mating ritual, and they look like they're just... Kissing. Hugging and kissing and <laughs> being funny. But penguins are they're just so fun to watch. I want penguins. Especially when they waddle and walk. Yeah, I want some penguins. Cracks me up. They're so cool. Yeah. 
That one there was going through a moat, wasn't he? Yeah, the one sit, just sitting there with his back all humped up, he was going through a mold. I think she said he might be that one of the older ones. No, he's kind of like you. He's kind of back. Because he didn't move, like did he? That's what they, said. they said they don't get in the water when they're going through the mold. Well, I understood it. Well, that's sad. He's missing out, ain't he? He just looks like a, an older penguin the way he's all humped up there and the way he looks. There he comes. Ooh, that one just Fly through the water. Look wow. at him. Wow. Well, <laughs> looks like they're dancing. <laughs> So funny. We showed this to uh, our little granddaughter, and her mama said, She said, Mama, what are they doing? <laughs> Look, there's one in the back coming up going, Oh, y'all straighten up. But yes, I enjoyed the penguins very much. And you can actually go in. Yeah, you can go in there. You can pay to go in there and really. Look at them. Look at them. There's this. See this them. is unreal because it looks like these are really coming out of the water. Caribou. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting into Africa. Huge elephants. And you can see how it's going to be a little bit dark in here too because of the lighting, but there's not much we could do about it. But we wanted to share this experience with especially people that won't be able to see it. So it was just so exciting to us. There's some ostrich. ostrich. And it's just unreal the way they make everything just look so real. I forget what those are called. Yeah, I know it, but I can't tell you. Water buffalo. That was another angle, but it was just dark on that side. So I'm trying to see if I can tell. It's just like you're out there. It's like you're walking around out there. In the, yeah. There's the giraffes. Got the and if baboons. Baboons, <laughs> baboons up on the hut. Up on the hut, the grass hut. <clears throat> there was an older couple behind us, I guess, with their grandsons. And uh, the grandma said, Look, there's monkeys on top of there, and the sun, this little boy turned around and said, Granny, he said, that's not monkeys, that's baboons. <laughs> that's some kind of bird. I just wanted yeah, to... a bird nest. And the nest, that was just really neat, the way <laughs> there's some baboons up there. Zebras. Zebras. And they have sound effects all the way through there, too. It's just uh, all kinds of sounds and of each animal. There's the alligator. Oh, that's a crocodile. Crocodile. He was a statue, though, wasn't he? He wasn't. Uh, no, he wasn't real. No, I'm, well, I know he wasn't real, but what I'm saying he wasn't mounted. He wasn't mounted right. He was a statue. But it showed him in there. Showed how the. Uh, uh, See how real they look? How the wildebeest were coming across a watering hole type deal and they had to come across. And some little bitty. Tiny. Tiny, tiny deer. I forget. They're some kind of a deer. I forget what they're called. They're cute. This is Hemingway's. Is this a replica of his boat, fishing boat? That is the a boat. The that, boat. The boat. Hemingway's boat. That's the one that he purchased. It's Ernest real. Hemingway. It's a Hemingway's it's his dream fishing, fishing boat. boat, and there he is. He was a big fisherman, and uh, they've got it That's there. It's an all-wooden the... boat. Killer whale. Killer whale. Now we're getting into the aquarium, and it doesn't do it justice, the video doesn't, how beautiful these aquariums are. It's the lighting and everything else, so... But there is every kind of fish in this aquarium that you can think of, and the aquarium goes, it's, how tall would you say that aquarium is? Uh, two stories high? Yeah, it's two stories. And it just, it goes in a huge circle, and it just, see, it just goes around in a circle. And you walk around two different floors and look at everything. And the fish just swim around you. says, the good Lord provided all the resources for us to 
enjoy. The outdoors belongs to Him. We are only using it for a while. Respect the great gifts and thank Him each and every day. Some of these fish really cracked me up. Some of you said they look like grumpy old men. They did. They would look mean. They look mad all the time. I don't know what they were. Somebody that lives close to the ocean tell us what all of them were. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. sure. <clears throat> Some of them I knew, but... All the... Uh, a lot of I colors. I think I've seen Dora yeah, the colors. Eye. You can't see all the colors in the video. The coral and... You was wanting one of these aquariums in your bedroom. Yeah, I want one. I want one of these big aquariums in my bedroom. Yeah, there's door. <laughs> so I can lay there and just watch it. Throw away the TV and just watch fish. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. So we were on the adventure too for the grandkids looking for Dory. As <laughs> uh, you see that fish, now don't he look grumpy? Not there's a grouper. There. That's a grouper, and he was huge. You can't tell how huge. How much would you say he weighed? I'm afraid to guess. <laughs> 200 pounds plus. I mean, look at the woman's head. You see the kids' heads? That's how big that fit grouper is. He was big. I don't know. Somebody That's okay. That can't. It's okay. Now he's They're moving. Fine. But he looked He like, might have been three, 400 pounds. I don't know. He just looks like a grumpy old fish. He was big. I'm not very good at judging groupers. <laughs> I've never, just think if you got one of them on your fishing line. I wouldn't have nothing that would hold him. He is huge. Look at this. Some of these fish have the look at it. Look at her lips. That just cracks me up. Them there, I think, eat them. Looking at you. Coral? Yeah. I'm trying to think of coral. Now, this fish cracked me up because it was swimming he can't, sideways. He can't swim upwards. I don't know if he could get upright or he'd been. He's drunk. He'd been drinking. Been partying or something. He never, <laughs> would, he never would sit up straight, and he should. He's not like a flounder. He. I don't know. It's almost like you couldn't even see where he's going. But some of the colors on these fish, and every once in a while the video will catch it, but not very much. That one there has a big nose like me. That was funny. I don't know what they were at all. That may be, I ain't sure that's, almost looks like an angel fish, I ain't sure. There's another one of them ones with a big nose on it. There I ain't. know, look at it. Finally, see, there's a shark and there was a uh, sea turtle I was wanting to get. Now, this here is a swarm of fish like they would do in the ocean. That I would call them bait fish. That's the predators feed on them, but they swim in this circle all the time to disorient this, what I'm trying to say. To confuse the bigger fish. <laughs> there you go. There's that big. They keep fish confused. And they do that in big lakes, too. I mean, I've seen them on my fish finders in the lakes. Now, this was neat to me because this is the big boat out on the ocean, and they're fishing. Fishing for tuna. Tuna. That's a gray whale and a baby gray whale. And it's huge hanging up there. You see how big it is hanging over everybody? But they make it look so real with the water. Look at that. I mean, that's not real water, but it looks like it. And they've got the men there fishing. It has a tuna. little, there's there. There's one you want in your bedroom. There's the two-story fish aquarium right there. That's the one you wanted in That's your bedroom. That's the one I want in my bedroom. I just, so I'd just lay there and watch it until I fell asleep. <laughs> it's just, it, it just, it's unreal. Now this wasn't real, that's not a real shark. Look at these fish. And I can't remember what they were called now, I'll tell you. Should've wrote all that down. There's some stingrays. Now this here was supposed to be look like a shipwreck that I'm it's fixing a show. Um, the aft. The aft of the ship. Of the ship down in the water. Down the water. And it was round. Yes. Also. It's a tall round aquarium with all different fish, you know. It's supposed to look like it's down at the bottom of the ocean. Shipwreck. You could actually go in there and try to touch stingrays if you wanted to. I couldn't get Mr. Brown to do it. That's all right. <laughs> I've got some grandkids that would have done it though. 
I hope to get them up to see this soon. Because there's something for them to see. And there's a lot of things to do in Springfield, a lot of restaurants too, and you're not too far from Branson, Missouri. So you could make a big vacation trip out of it for sure. But you don't want to miss this at the Bass Pro in Springfield. Ooh, he's big. And just allow yourself plenty of time. Yes. Especially if you're a reader, and I love to read. This, there's a man there telling us, he was kind of a guide, and he was telling these kids about certain things that was in there. The colors, look at that. This aquarium, ooh, is that it? Eel. Eel. This aquarium remind me of some of the cartoons the kids watch with the fish, the colors. It's really neat. I love the the purples and the blacks and the yellows. And look at that. Parrotfish. Parrotfish. Not sure what that is. Look at his mouth. They got a weird looking mouth, but you said they eat on coral, so that's why their mouth is shaped like that. Yeah, the mouth shaped like that too if you're eating on raw. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have pretty? no teeth left for sure. Look at how pretty it is. Look at that one spotted. The colors. I like that turquoise on that fish. There he is. That's a pretty one. Some type of a shark, right? They have no worries unless somebody bigger comes along and eats them, huh? Okay, now we're going into the swamp. The lighting will not be good. No, the lighting is not good, but I hated to take all of it out. So here at the beginning, we're going in, so just bear with us for a second because um, we wanted to show y'all. Not very many people get to see it, but there's there a is. bald eagle. And I'm sure the reason they probably even have it is because it's either old or it's, it's been hurt or something. He fly. Can't fly, so they're taking care of him. <laughs> you see they have a replica of an old shack. And Had a beaver dam down there, down there. <clears throat> all dammed up. You can't hardly see it. Yeah. And there There's it. the eagle better, better picture. Yeah, there he is. And of course, more water. That's the beaver dam. That's the beaver dam. And there was a beaver in there, but we didn't get a shot of him because he was way back in the back. A lot of times, some animals don't want to come out and smile at you. This is a gator pit. And there's some owls. What owl was that? I forgot you said. We call them hooters, but they're, uh, I forget. Now this is... Gar. Gar. You could not get the otters to come out and smile at you either. I didn't get hardly anything on them. They was busy eating fish and staying away from everybody, so. That's been feeding time. Yeah. They were grabbing fish and hiding them. Now I think a lot of these fish here are in Arkansas rivers, aren't they? In that pond, or is that a different pond? You'll see a different one. More water, waterfalls, bridge that you walked over. Fuel. What's he doing? Waiting to eat something? Yeah. He, he just kept <laughs> looking like, up like he was by. laughing at everybody or something. I'm gonna grab something to eat. <laughs> and I don't know what that fish was back there in that cave. Surely he can get out. No, they had him in there for some reason. Some reason? Purpose? Either predators on something else, or they just trying to get them used to the aquarium or something. There he is. There's that big old. He looked like he had a beard. Huge. 
There's an up close. He wanted to see y'all. He wanted to up close everybody seeing. <laughs> I don't know what it was. There's Dora. Dory. Okay, Dory. I know. I kept saying Dora, but it's Dory. Of course, you'd have to watch the cartoon, you know. <laughs> Disney show. So pretty with the pretty little colors of the fish. Finding Nemo's the name of the there show. There it is. That's the name of it. Finding Nemo. Look at him. That's Avery's There's Nemo. Like, is that clownfish? Clownfish. So cute. So neat. And then you could go underneath and stick your head up underneath. So if you see somebody's head in there, that's what they're doing. It was like a bubble you could go underneath. The kids would crawl in there and get up inside yeah. there. Mr. Brown was This is go where I was going to go and dive sharks. with the sharks. But but I tried to make an appointment, so schedule an appointment, and you couldn't. I couldn't get in until July the 15th. I was going to go one. dive with the sharks the over there in the we'll shark cage it. during feeding time, <laughs> but I didn't get to. Well, that water's pretty, isn't it? Look at that big old shark down there. There's one of the sharks there. They didn't have no great whites in there. They don't look no. very <laughs> I had a sand shark, and I think I made, I ain't sure what that one there is. Our grandson could tell us the name of all oh, the sharks. Oh, yeah, he could. I like the way they got stuff set up. It looks so real. There's another one. Is that the sand shark? I don't think so. I don't think that. I don't know. I'm, I'd be kidding. Somebody will know. Look at all the pretty colors. That was a funny one. Y'all probably getting tired of looking at all these fish, but we were just amazed. Now, these by. are the ones I believe that were most all these yes. fish are in Missouri and Arkansas. There's a sturgeon right there. That is a lake sturgeon, these and I, you'll find in I've actually caught river rivers? sturgeon. I caught one one time. They looked prehistoric. Lakes and rivers. But, and there was, uh, lake sturgeon. what are those, flathead catfish? No, well, there were some blue. Blue catfish. And there were gar in there, and there were on fish. carp and drum and striped bass. bass. So that's what you would it's find in huge, our rivers. A huge bass up there. Car. A sturgeon's big, a lake sturgeon. Of course, we like catching them bass. There was some 12, 13, 14 pound bass in there. I just need one of them during a tournament. There's a, <laughs> there's a blue catfish down there on the bottom. It's a bunch of them. And I've never caught a bass over eight pounds, so. Blue catfish. <laughs> what is that? Huge thing. That's that blue cat. That's the blue cat. Oh, there's Miss Lori in the aquarium. These were pretty too. Some kind of a sea nettle. Sea nettle. Look how pretty they are. Of course, they had some kind of lights on too, but. They look really nice. Yeah. Those are little. And then you go over here, and I think that's real jellyfish, ain't it? The little yeah. bitty ones. Yeah, that's some little bitty ones, isn't it? Well, that's look. three big groupers down there at the bottom. Huge. I'd say over 200 pounds a piece. They're in there. They may weigh more than that. Like I say, I, I'm not a good judge on fish that big in water. Uh, there's some sharks. I think that one there, one is a sand shark. I'm not sure. There's a cage I would have went down in. They're okay. They're okay. Yeah, we could have seen them in the cage down there with the, the sharks if he'd have been able to. So maybe someday he will. That is octopus. It looks like there's two, but it's a reflection of the water. This is a white American alligator. Yeah, he was. he wanted to walk with me. He wanted to come with me. That was a bear. He was sleeping. He had his butt to us and he wouldn't wake up. He was snoozing and taking a nap. He looks like he needs to. He's Look at him. He's, he's so relaxed. Flamingos. 
So we're getting close to the end, guys, and I hope y'all have enjoyed this. I know it's been a long one, but we just wanted to bring y'all with us and see even just some of what we got to enjoy. Moose are big. We had a wonderful time. I hope sometime that you can